Delay a game penalty, five yards against Winona. In the spot of the foul, that'll be first and 15 for Winona from right around midfield. Nope, check that, make that about the 46, 47 yard line. A little bit of confusion there, it looks to be first and 10 for Winona. Drop back, drops back to pass. Pass is going to be incomplete. Intended for number three, Marty Moran. That'll bring up second and ten now for Winona after the incomplete pass by Zimbrick. Intended for the captain, number three, Marty Moran. Then the Eagles should look for Winona to come out throwing here. They've done that earlier in the game with a lot of success, so they should look for the pass on this second down. Oh, and it, is that an option? Yes, it appears to be, and Moran's got the ball. He's off and running, and it looks like it's going to be, yep, that's a touchdown for Winona. They thought they had Zimbrick in the backfield, but he pitched the ball out in the option, and Moran took it in for the six. the kickoff from Winona. It's off. Good kick. Malakowski's back. Fields it at about the Maple River 10-yard line. He's off and running. He's out all the way to just about the 30-yard line. First and 10 for Maple River from the 30 to 31 after a great return by Malakowski. First and 10 here for the Eagles from about their own 31-yard line. Three receivers spread out. Brandon Reynolds down in the backfield behind Isaac Schultz. Hand off to Reynolds straight up the middle with a big guy. And look at him go. That is a combination of speed and power. And Reynolds is off to the races taking the whole defense with him. Down to about the 37-yard line. First down for Maple River. Dan, that's something that Reynolds really brings to the table. A good combination of strength and speed. And we just saw both exhibited very well on that last play. Long run for number 44, Brandon Reynolds. And a first down for Maple River. First and ten here, same formation. Reynolds down in the backfield behind Schultz. Three receivers spread out wide. Working from under center. Schultz drops back to pass. Let's it go. Complete the number six, the senior, Dan Stoffer. About a nine yard gain for Maple River. It's going to be second and one for the Eagles now. From right around the Winona 30 or 31 yard line. Three receivers spread out wide. Reynolds back behind Schultz as he works under center. Schultz back to pass. Let's the ball go. And incomplete. Stoffer's begging his case with the referee. He wants the call, but he's not getting any mercy from the zebra right now. Third and short here for Maple River. Reynolds back behind Schultz as he works out of the single setback formation. Turns around straight up the middle of Reynolds and look at the big guy go, taking the whole defense with him. First down for Maple River. Okay, and that is one of the fullbacks in this league that can do so much more than lead lock. He is a threat carrying the ball if I've ever seen one. First down for Maple River after an excellent run by number 44, Brandon Reynolds, the junior out of the Mike area. Three receivers set now. Reynolds back behind Schultz as he works under center. Hand off to Reynolds again. The defense not as forgiving this time around. Brought by a brought down by a host of defensive linemen from Winona. Looks like one of the first men in on the play was number 63, Aaron Miller. Second and ten now, Maple River. Once again, three receivers spread out. Two to the right, one to the left. Reynolds working behind Schultz. He works from center. Fakes the handoff, play action. Schultz is going to keep it, and he's not going to get much there. Brought down by about two or three defenders from Winona. Specifically, number 51, Tony Rickoff, looked like one of the first men in on the play. Looks like there's a penalty marker down on the field. Looks to be face mask against Winona. 
We're waiting to see if this is of the 5 or 15 yard variety. Now bear in mind, if he grabs the face mask and twists, that is a personal foul and it's going to result in a 15 yard penalty and an automatic first down. If he grabs it and lets go of it real quick like, it's only a 5 yard penalty and might save you a little bit of grief from your coach when you get to the sideline. Which will be a personal foul that was a 15 yard face mask against uh, Winona. It's going to be, I believe it's going to be half the distance to the goal. 15 yard penalty, that puts the Eagles down right around the 10 yard line. They're starting, it's, it looks like it's going to be first and goal here for the Eagles. Four receiver set now. Isaac Schultz already under center now. Goes straight ahead. Let's see what he can do. Gonna be close. Isaac Schultz with the quarterback keeper right now. Let's see where that sets them up for yardage. We're going to measure here, see if the Eagles have first down or not. Official timeout for measurement. Okay, let's see what the Eagles can do here now. I don't believe they got the first down, so that should make it third and very short for Maple River. The Eagles are going to take a timeout now. Isaac Schultz a little confused out there. Looks to be third and short here for the Eagles. Isaac Schultz will under center, and the keeper looks like he's got it. Should be in there for the first down. First down that makes it first and goal for the Eagles just inside the 10-yard line. As the Schultz jump ball in the end zone, incomplete. First and goal now for the Eagles. Second and goal now for the Eagles. Isaac Schultz working under center. Reynolds back behind him. Let's see where they go with it. Isaac Schultz with the keeper going straight ahead. Not getting a whole lot there. Brought down by number 21, Trevor. Back to pass, lets it go. Let's it. Yeah! Oh, jump ball and Dan Stuffer brings, oh, correction, Seth Anderson brings down the jump ball, touchdown Maple River. Correction there, ladies and gentlemen, Dan Stuffer is gonna get the credit for that touchdown, but according to the monitor, when I, when the, all the desk cleared, Seth Anderson had the ball, but I guess da Dan Stoff will be credited with the touchdown reception. Jigga, no, oh, Seth Anderson will be in the point after attempt. Nope, oh, correction, Jacob Malikowski in for the point after attempt, and that is no good. Jacob Malikowski set to kick it away for the Eagles. Of course, last year they had veteran kicker Aaron Annas. Jacob Malikowski, this is his first year being